Hello, I'm Victor, and today I'm going to cover how this market is a stock picker's market. We are at the end of March 2022, beginning April tomorrow, and we've seen a lot of volatility this year. We've seen the year begin with a correction for both the NASDAQ, the S&P, the Dow, and now we saw a rise in March of a lot of stocks, and it really faded at the end of the, uh, of the month. It will continue to be that way for 2022. That's my expectation. And you need to be ready to trade. You need to be ready to get into companies that you believe in, you need to do your homework early and be ready. Remember that Warren Buffett believes that, hey, during corrections is a great time to buy. He uses the story of corrections are like in a, in a department store when they put everything on sale, for some reason, a lot of investors, most of them, decide to leave the store when the prices are lower. Well, don't be one of those that leave the store when the prices are really good on companies you believe in. Be the one that really buys with conviction, holds that position, and then makes money over time. That's certainly the person I want to be. And uh, let's go over some opportunities in today's market. Let's go over to the graphs really quick. So if you look at the S&P for year to date, you can see that it's been really, really uh, volatile. It followed really a couple of years of just phenomenal growth. I mean, if post COVID, look at this tear that the S&P has been on. Just an awesome upward trend. And that's great. I rode that trend. Excellent. But, you know, this isn't going to last forever. Could you imagine that? If we just, uh, it, it'll go parabolic. It'll just completely go vertical. It's just not possible. So let's put our expectations where they need to be, which is, you know what? The market is priced uh, quite, quite high. And we should expect that, you know, stocks, especially ones that cannot prove profitability, they can't grow, they can't generate free cash flow, they can't return capital to investors. Uh, those companies are going to be in trouble. They're going to lose a lot of value. Now, on the flip side of that, companies who, that are continue to grow, the Googles, the Facebooks, uh, and they're going to continue to generate uh, great growth, great profit, free cash flow. And those are the companies that I want to put my capital behind. As we look at the NASDAQ, it went down even further. So NASDAQ has been really volatile. It didn't come up as much as the S&P in the month of March. Again, over the past year, look at that. It, it really... It barely made any money over the last 12 months, over the last five years. Just a great, great chart, but not as well as the S&P. Isn't that interesting? So, and then we'll take a look at the Dow. Uh, so the Dow being, you know, year to date, volatility, didn't come up as much as the S&P. Last five years have been good, not as good as NASDAQ or S&P. And overall, it's lagged both S&P and NASDAQ. So, for the remainder of 2022, um, I'm poised to continue to, to, you have to be a good stock picker. You need to know which companies you're willing to buy and get, get into them. We're gonna see swings downward and upward and it's not gonna end. The other thing that I would recommend is begin, you know, if you haven't done so already, diversify. Take some of those gains that you made over the last you know, couple of years that you've seen this, this great growth and put those aside. Don't have them completely involved with the stock market in 2022, 2023. I'm taking some of those gains, putting them away in treasuries, put them away in, in really risk-free uh, vehicles. And I treat them as a trophy. It's over there. It's a trophy. Hey, I made that money in 2021, 2020, and I can look at them as such. And it won't be going down with the next correction because it's coming and it's coming soon. There's a lot of bad news out there. And it's real is the recession worries, that's real. Uh, a lot of companies are in industries that COVID really, really damaged and they're just trying to get back on their feet, that's real. Commodity prices are high, uh, inflation is very high. So we're in a time where there's gonna be turbulence, folks. So be ready, do your homework, be ready to buy the best companies you can get your hands on at a discount. Good luck trading and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.